I can already hear the commenters and the dislikers frantically hammering their keyboards about this title. But in this video, I'm gonna explain why science is wrong, or at least why you should think about what, what is science really? What is the truth about reality? And how can we be so sure that something that's scientifically proven is actually the case? So hopefully this won't come as a surprise to you, but throughout history, science has constantly evolved. It's constantly changed, adapted, you know, reversed its opinion on certain massive things. There's been all kinds of paradigm shifts where everything we thought we knew was wrong. And they publicly admitted this and said, actually, now this is the way, this is how it works. And now this is the scientific consensus. And this consensus has changed enormously over the course of history, absolutely enormously. To the point where literally the science of the day and the scientific consensus of experts thought the earth was flat. This is how enormously the paradigms have shifted and how it really illustrates how we, we really can't trust or take the scientific consensus as the absolute truth. Because throughout history, it's just been completely wrong countless amounts of times. By the way, if you wanna learn how to lucid dream, check out the PDF, uh, free PDF and video training, links in the description, or just go to howtolucid.com forward slash gift. So the scientific method, the entire definition of the scientific method is to criticize, doubt, comment on, and improve upon existing science. That's the whole point of science, is to criticize and change existing science. So when you hear, essentially when you hear people say that this is something that's true because the scientific experts all agree, or you know, the majority of them agree on something, and that means it's absolutely true. That is just 100% not the case. Because like I said, historically, they've been wrong countless times. You know, only a few short years ago, they thought asbestos was healthy. They, doctors and experts were recommending pregnant mothers to smoke cigarettes. And you know, this was in the last century, this has happened. So now when you have people who are so blindly and naively trusting the same organizations and scientists and believing they're telling the truth now, it's not a good idea to trust 100% that today's science is is the truth and is correct. Because like I said, it's been wrong so many times before. And a really good example of this is the current debate or controversy around quantum mechanics and quantum physics. Now, like I've said many, many times before, I am not a quantum physicist, okay? I'm not qualified in quantum mechanics and I probably never will be and I don't want to be because there are many people who are qualified in that who have spent their whole lives studying quantum mechanics and quantum physics and I can just summarize and learn from their work. But the interesting thing is when people will take, let's say, traditional scientists' opinions on quantum mechanics, and let's say with the multiverse, right? Let's say if eight out of 10 scientists believe that the multiverse is impossible, or it's not, it's not the case, it doesn't exist. Eight out of 10 scientists, let's say that's today. That means two out of 10 scientists might believe that it's possible. So how on earth can we, can we know for sure that those two scientists are wrong? We simply can't. In the same way that, you know, way back in the day when they thought the earth was flat, that was the consensus of the scientists and experts of the day. They believed that to be the truth. And you would have had people arrogantly defending that truth when somebody suggested it's actually a globe. So just think about that for a second. People throughout history in the scientific world have always felt that they know the truth without any doubt. And they've almost always been wrong. Almost always. And that applies to me too. I, I might be wrong and I'm very willing to admit it when I am wrong and if I'm proved wrong. But to assume that one consensus is true is to ignore history. Now with quantum mechanics, the interesting thing that's happening now is that experiments that are being done and have been done in quantum mechanics are proving and confirming beliefs that we had 5,000 years ago. We've come almost full circle. And these beliefs are things like we're all interconnected, we're all part of the same conscious holographic seed, the quantum or you know the seed of the universe, it's been called many things. We all essentially manifest and create our own reality. And, uh, and there's a few other things as well. Like I, it seems like our universe operates like a giant cosmic clock and it seems to operate in cycles, repeating cycles of about 24,000 years. These have been known as yugas or really the yugas are a breakdown of that 24,000 year cycle. And then this is broken down into further cycles and this correlates with astrological and numerology based you know cycles and predictions this they knew this 5000 years ago and they were using this system these systems of astrological time calculation and prediction and only now <laughs> 
are we kind of proving with, let's say, with astrology? We are now proving and confirming things about the universe, about the orbits of the planets, about the constellations that they that, that were in ancient carvings in ancient Sumeria 5,000 or 4,000 years ago. Now, you know, I could get into a whole thing about what that means. Does that mean we were more advanced then? It's a, that's an interesting rabbit hole to go down. But it certainly means that what we think we know today is unlikely to be the truth, or at least it's unlikely to be the whole truth. So when you consider or when you hear somebody else firmly say this is the scientific consensus and this means it's fact, just really question that for a second and remind them that science throughout history has been wrong so many times about so many huge things. So yeah, it's just something to think about. I, I felt that this needed to be shared and uh, let me know what you think about this.